course, Jameson seems to think you're shy. Never knew you to pass up the opportunity to flirt with one of my nurses, especially when she's new, unwise to your tricks. No, well, not that easy when you're hearted, you know. I wouldn't joke about a Kentucky. A heart condition is a serious matter. It's my life. I live it the way I want to. Not if you keep ignoring your condition. Listen, I gave up smoking, didn't I? You want me to give up all these major vices, all these high-risk things, then you got to stop talking to me like I'm some kind of flunky lieutenant. Would you have come in here if I hadn't? Kentucky, I don't know how to put it to you, to get the point across. You're, you're walking on a tightrope. If you keep dancing, you're, you're going to fall off sooner or later. For the most part, I'm pleased with the results of your EKG. Well, I can live with the word please, but what's the prognosis on for the most part? That depends on you. This willy-nilly attitude is not what I prescribed. You think it's part of the nicotine withdrawal? Nicotine, no. Withdrawal, yes. Kentucky, I've seen this kind of denial before. You cut out the cholesterol, you quit smoking, drinking, then you seem to think you can ignore everything else. What everything else? There's nothing left. I recommended regular checkups, part of your treatment. You seem to think you can come and go as you please. I'm not a nine to five man. I don't punch in, I don't punch out. If you don't take these exams seriously, you're going to punch out, whether you like it or not. This exam was way overdue. Okay, no okay, okay. You got the vital statistics. Now give me the lowdown. You're lucky. There hasn't been any significant change since your last visit. Then why the hard sell? You have a cardiovascular disease. You want it in technical terms? All right. Specifically, there is a blockage of your coronary arteries, which means that your heart may not be strong enough to pump sufficient blood to meet your body's demands. Yeah. Congestive heart failure is the bottom line. So? I won't run the marathon in the next Olympics. Tell me what I want to know. Can I fly or can I? If it's for pleasure, yes. Well, Mrs. Sintel, sitting beside me in a supersonic jet would be a very pleasurable experience. No supersonics. Small aircraft that fly mm -hmm. low. Put together with spit and glue. I don't think I'm going to be able to find one of those in T.I.'s hangar. Then keep your feet on the ground. You try to do any high-stress flying, and the plane will not be the only thing straining at the seams. 